Hey there, welcome back. Yes, in a strange alternate universe, the breakout never happens. I was looking at the, the odds of the breakout, and because uh, the action ratings of all of the Commonwealth units is so good, they stand a much better chance of having uh, no losses under the attrition roll than they do of making the 50-50 bet on the breakout even with the plus one modifier. So, uh, we kind of unwound the breakout rolls and everything. I it kept track of stuff and took pictures, so uh, it's one of the benefits, right, of uh, documenting your gameplay. And we went through, and the first thing that we did was uh, pull whatever supply we could forward for the Commonwealth. And then from there, really uh, looked around to see where we could make attacks to uh, try and uh, free up these guys here and try and attack out of here. Uh, the, the end results were, were uh, unimpressive in here, and I'll explain why in a second. Uh, the attack, uh, so tr uh, units moved and we got some supply up and uh, uh, moved a, a, couple of, a couple of tank, a tank unit into here which you can see here, and uh, you know, added up all the factors and got organized and got ready to uh, uh, do our attacks, right? Uh, really wasn't anywhere else where we could apply ourselves, um, but we did mass our forces here with the view of attacking this oasis, knowing that there was an RT unit underneath it, and so the total defense was two with a AR rating of four. Uh, actually three, so that would make it, uh, uh, you know, prime target, even though these guys were all quartered in their attack strength. Right, so we finish movement, we do all our movement, and then it's the uh, reaction phase. Well, uh, you know, Rommel's, Rommel's right here. Rommel's not going to sit around and, uh, there's that little palm tree, not going to sit around and take that lying down. So he moves to units into this DG stack with low ammo that uh, is really blo uh, bogging up the works to, to stop these guys getting out. And you know that's, <coughs> that's the game changer right there. That's really uh, stops any attack from happening. It would be uh, a suicidal uh, attack. I think it ends up being uh, even with um, a successful surprise roll, which they did get, uh, it results in a DL1, and uh, there's enough steps in there that they can take whatever retreat uh, they need to as a loss. Uh, and so there's enough factors left in here, or would be enough factors left in here to uh, hold that spot. And hold it in such a manner that even if uh, these field units in reserve here uh, if they were to meander their way up to here and uh, try and overrun in the exploit phase, it would be unsuccessful. It would be a one to three uh, uh, shot in the dark to uh, try and uh, get the guys out of trouble there. And a one to three attack is, uh, is not something to be laughed at at best. Uh, we would need a, we need a 13, a 12 uh, to get to get a result. Now, I tell you what, if I roll a 12 now, then we'll reconsider everything, but uh, it's just such a long shot, and I didn't. Uh, so, that puts them in a hole. Now, we did, uh, over here, we had to roll, uh, so before any of those attacks could happen, we had to, of course, uh, do our supply phase. So we did this, and we rolled for attrition. And <clears throat> while I was, uh, you know, uh, I contemplated all this, and said, oh, well, you know, the, the chances of all this uh, going the wrong way are uh, much better if you, uh, <laughs> if you roll for attrition. Uh, we lost one, two, three brigades, uh, a uh, battalion, a brigade of uh, armored cars, and a fort in, in this area. These guys survived. Uh, so that, that has changed this whole dynamic in here quite a bit. There's not a lot of chance. Uh, there was a step lost here as well. Uh, so there's, uh, you know, this will all be uh, taken in the next couple of turns. 
Uh, however, we're, 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 you know, there's no supply for the Germans at the moment. They're on, a, they're on rice and beans right now, let me tell you. So that's the current situation. I'm going to tidy up the map, um, do supply for the Germans for the 1st of September. Uh, we're not going to do the breakout. We're going to keep playing. Uh, you know, I kind of just don't want to stop because I'm having so much darn fun. Uh, so we've rewound a turn and, uh, you know, because we reconsidered our options and we realized that, you know, we'd made what I would call a, that was a game changing mistake. It was a game ending uh, mistake. Uh, now here, we really don't have much better situation, but at least we're still in the game uh, fighting at this point anyway. So there you have it.